the giant Earthship Ark, drifting through deep space over 800 years into the far future. Its passengers, the descendants of the last survivors of the dead planet Earth, locked in separate worlds, heading for destruction. Unless three young people can save the Star Lost. There's got to be someone. That medical section near the bridge. Oh, it's deserted. Well, there's got to be another medical section. Here, I'm going to talk to the host. Can I be of assistance? Yes. Devin's hurt. We need medical help. Please. State-specific position of injured party. We're in the sonic computer sector. Is there anyone who can help? Message will be relayed to... Authorized personnel. Now don't go away, please. I need to talk to someone, a human being, not another machine. Yes, Captain. Emergency call, Sonic Sector. Nature of the problem. Unstated. Very well, standard procedure. Docking procedure, fixed course, Sector M16, dock port 12. An emergency in sector M16. Alert all personnel, Gene. Yes, Doctor. Will you be needing me, Chris? Uh, no, I don't think so, Martin. Come on, Gene. It's no good, Rachel. No one's going to come. Someone will. The vital signs are down 3.78. Let's get him up. Treatment center is done. Where are you going to take him? Medical module 7. Well, where's that in the ark? It's not in the ark. Uh, what happened here? If I hadn't gone poking in that chamber, Devin would never have gotten hurt. Sonic debilitator is supposed to destroy microorganisms, not people. Destroy? He was only in there a short time. Ah, well, that's all it takes. Come on, let's see if anything can be done for him. God, is it? Yeah. I'm Dr. Jean Belletier. I think you'd better come along. That girl's going to need you. After what I did to Devin, Rachel won't want me anywhere around. Who got him out? 
I did. Then you may have saved his life. Oh, please wait here. I was preparing for a preliminary. Yeah, I'd rather do the full dial myself, Martin. Of course. It's always best for the original physician to do his own workup. I think I taught you that myself. Thank you. Uh, please record these readings. Prosencephalon, 6625733131. Diencephalon, 6647215. Telecephalon, 6654399. Mesocephalon, 6647259. We're learning the exact extent of the damage. How bad is it? We won't know for sure until all the figures are codified. Crystal tell us soon. Try not to worry. He looks so pale. He's had an enormous shock to his system. How do you know that? I have some knowledge of the figures. Anything yet? Momentarily. I'm expecting some motor damage, possibly labyrinthitis. If you have nothing better to do, Martin, I suggest you monitor the communications console. We do have other patients. Who is that old man? Uh, that's Dr. Martin Trask, one of the medical biospheres' most eminent neurosurgeons. Medical biosphere? Come on, we'll talk in my office. Chris doesn't like people diagnosing over his shoulder. You heard how he spoke to his father. His father? What about Devon? Oh, he's in capable hands. Rough, but capable. Uh, extensive cell damage, labyrinthitis, posterior sense damage. Now, uh, the respiratory control is still good. Motor damage is mostly on the left side. All right, I'll tell you what, uh, put him on EM resuscitation unit, full motor facilities. Now, if his EMR reaches level 3000, I want him prepped immediately for surgical procedure 7003. Although I doubt whether he'll recover to operational level. There are five medical modules like this one that orbit the Ark, ready to answer emergency calls in the biosphere. Originally, there were many more, but they were either destroyed or knocked out of the Ark's orbit at the time of the disaster. Then you know about the accident? The destruction, the Ark's collision course, everything. We know, but there's nothing we can do. We're trained for a specific duty, giving medical aid when and where needed. You know, we're so overworked and understaffed now, it's all we can do to fulfill one-tenth of our prescribed functions. But if you have a crew that can navigate this module, why couldn't they replot the Ark's course? Mm, the Ark is much more sophisticated than this. Look, it would take specialized knowledge of those computers. The codes, the CTRs, propulsion data. More knowledge than any of our people have. And it's all pointless. All our searching and questions and trying for what? If you people can't do anything, what chance have we got? Oh, what's it all been for? Devon's nearly dead. Rachel's half out of her mind with worry. Me. What about you, Garth? Uh, nothing. You know, you've got to stop blaming yourself. Who else can I blame? Devon? Garth, you know and I know that Devon wouldn't blame you for what happened. You've got to be strong because it may be all left up to us. If Devon doesn't recover, I can't do it without you. You mean you'd still want to go on? Well, no, very soon about your friend. Have you determined procedure? Yeah, the damage is uh, quite extensive. If he responds to the uh, EMR, we're going to do a 7003 program with cytoplasm and healthy cells take over from the destroyed ones. What does all that mean? give to you straight there's a very slim chance that I can save your friend's life there's even a chance that he could be normal but it's more likely he'll be a helpless paralytic I'm sorry Dr. Trask medical emergency biosphere no doctor an alien craft What is it? 
Can't be sure. It's garbled at times. But it's definitely a call for medical help. Let me in. Let me in. Lethargy overtaking our complement. Movements heavy. Bodily function slowing. Request immediate medical aid without knowledge of this virus. We've got to get to them. But who are they? What can we do for them? Chris, we've, we've got to know more. Uh, the captain can get the coordinates when we come into range. Aliens. This is the real challenge. And that young man? Uh, you heard the readouts, might as well be dead. These creatures are alive. I might be able to keep them alive. Request medical aid. Situation critical. Need specific coordinates. Are you able to comply? We'll comply. Stand by for grid map coordinates. We have your coordinates. Computer will analyze for astrogator to plot course. Request information, re your mission. Galaxy ship Seer. G211 on exploration mission. Galaxy X 742 out of planet Helium. Request the same, re your mission. Medical module 7 attached to Earth ship Ark on mission to resettle inhabitants on hospitable planet. Coordinates indicate you are on collision course, class G star. Alter course advisory. Unable to do so. Need expert aid, renew coordinates and propulsion data. If medical aid forthcoming, maybe of assistance to you. We've established their position, Captain. Good. How soon before we know our situation on fuel and, and time allotment? It's been fed in now. A few moments, sir. Commander, Galaxy Ship Seer G211, we have your position. Now computing data, read feasibility of reaching you. Imperative you do so. Medical crew here unable to determine factor. Returning you to Chief Medic Dr. Christopher Trask for further consultation. Do you have anything yet? I'll run another check, Captain. The first indications are that it'll be very tight. Can we get to them? We can get to them, sir. The problem is, can we get back again? change. When are they going to do something for him? I don't know. I don't know. Have you eaten anything? No, I can't. I want to stay here. Let me get you some food. Garth, leave me alone. Haven't you done enough? I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. No, you're right. I have done enough. Look at him lying there like that. Does he even know we're here? Maybe he does. But when he wakes up, I want to be here. I want to be the first person he sees. Well, I want to be the last. Dr. Trask, is there any hope for him? From what I overheard, you don't appear to have any doubts. I don't know if I'm lying to myself, or I'm just trying to make everyone else believe so I can believe too. Belief can be a strong thing, almost as strong as will. That's the remarkable thing about human beings. They have an enormous will to live. I suppose that's what the Ark is all about. Humanity's survival. This man here, Devon, within all those tissues and fibers, nerve endings, cellular structures, there's something no medical man truly understands. That special will to live. I think that's what's kept him alive this long. Then you think he'll be all right? Well, judging from the readouts and his generally stable condition, I think the sooner we operate, the better his chances. Well, then why don't you operate now, right away? Not me, girl. These hands, these eyes. 
No, it has to be Chris. Well, then I want to see him. I'm sorry. Right now, my son appears to be totally involved with this alien craft. He won't take time from the communications room for a long and delicate operation. But he could help Devon. First, he has to work his miracle for the aliens, and after that, if it isn't too late, he'll deal with your friend. You're his father. Can't you make him do it? Make him? Dr. Christopher Trask is the team leader aboard this module. One time I was until I felt it was time for a younger man to take over. Chris seemed the logical choice. If we couldn't reach the aliens, then he would operate right away? My understanding is that we will be able to reach them. The captain has us on standby, preparatory to embarking. It's not fair. Devin could be the one to save the whole Ark. We should be doing everything we can to help him. Well, it's my understanding that the aliens might be able to help us as well. I'm afraid Chris feels fully justified in doing this, and he may very well be right. Uh, have you determined the rate of deterioration of your stored nourishment? Negative deterioration. Food stores are in crystallized form. Do not deteriorate. Chris, oh, Commander, would you take... We it? have to talk. Uh, there's no time. Then make time. You have a patient who needs you now. Uh... Uh, Commander, would you take another reading? I want to know the specifics of the rate of declining body functions of your crew. It will take some time. We are many. We urge immediate departure to link up with our craft. All right, we're leaving uh, momentarily, Commander. Please take the readings. I'll stand by. Uh, why are you so agitated? Don't you think I have a reason to be? Now don't answer a question with a question. Oh, don't you be such a... such an egotist. You've become obsessed with these aliens, with the idea of trying to save them. Don't you think that's a valid goal? Now, these aliens are in deep space. They're unable to help themselves. A sheer stupid luck has brought us into proximity, and I intend to take advantage of that luck and do what I can for them. And what about Devon? Doesn't he deserve your best efforts, too? Yeah, if he had a chance for survival, but you know that he doesn't. It's not what your father thinks. Now, don't you go throwing Martin up to me. He's had his share of mistakes. We all have, including you. But it's just possible that Devin can be saved if you help him now. No. No! That is impossible. These aliens are far more important. I always thought one man was as important as many. Or don't you subscribe to that theory anymore? Yes, I subscribe to that theory. And don't you go starting to make me look like a ruthless and cold-blooded man. You know very well I'm not. Correction. I knew you. You want to bring up the past? The past may be all that we have. Jean, look what I'm trying to do here. These aliens can be a great deal of importance to us. They, they have advanced technology. They know about astrogating. They can, they can put this arc back on course again, even get us to a habitable planet. Now, isn't that worth the life of one man? Is it? I don't know the answer to that, Chris. You'll have to decide that for yourself. Jean. I'm sorry that I can't be the man that you want me to be. And I'm sorry you can't be the man that you want to be. Medical module seven on takeoff. Reactors thrusting to escape velocity. got those new readings for me we have them all right give them to me and i'll be able to help you i'll help you
Devon. <gasps> Devon. Somebody, please help me, please. Oh. I just fell asleep and he fell off. No, don't do that. Martin, he needs it to live. He needs that operation to live. That's what I'm going to give him. It'll be some time before we have a visual sighting, but that's something I'm looking forward to. The calculations must be very complex. Oh, the computer works everything out right down to guidance and docking procedures. Then it's all in these buttons and controls. Well, no, not all, but it does help to know what the controls do. If there were a miscalculation and it were necessary to stop, what would you do? To stop? Yeah. Everything? Well, there's an abort switch there. Now, that would put us into a drift until we refired reactors. Astro, anything new read the site? I... What have you done? I've stopped the ship, Captain. You fool! You've endangered all of us! Now get away from there! Tell everyone to stay in this place, Captain, or I'll press every button on this console. Do you want to destroy this ship? No. All I want is for Dr. Christopher Trass to operate on Devon. Now, when I know he's going to do that, then you can continue on to the alien ship. It's too late. Well, then we'll just go back to the Ark. You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. This is a medical ship, and we've committed ourselves to helping those aliens. Now, our own lives are secondary. Devon comes first. Not if our failure to help antagonizes those aliens and sets the entire Ark in jeopardy. Now, we don't know what kind of creatures these are. We don't know what they're capable of. We've got to go to them. But you... You've thrown all the coordinates off so that by the time we reach the aliens, it may be too late to rejoin the Ark. You haven't helped your friend. You've doomed him. And all of us. Earth Ship Ark, Medical Module 7. Our scanner indicates you are drifting. Repeat, you are drifting. Let me talk to him at least. All right, but be quick. Commander, do you read me? We are standing by. We've had an accidental abort. Repeat, accidental abort. Necessary to recalculate course. Do you wish assistance? We will advise. Please stand by. We will comply. Repeat. Urgent you continue on intercept course. The situation at desperate level. Now, do you understand the seriousness of your action? Well, if Dr. Trask had operated on Devon, this wouldn't have happened. That was not in my control. This ship is my responsibility. By the time we're able to reconstruct our course and reach the alien ship, there will not be enough fuel left to rejoin the Ark. You've seen to that by aborting the flight. But Captain, what's happening? Why have we stopped? The man, Garth, aborted the mission. We'll get this ship moving. Those people need us. Negative. We are unable to resume command of medical module. But what are you talking about? Garth has commandeered the control console. He says he refuses to relinquish it unless you agree to operate on his friend. Uh, Garth, Garth, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Garth, what you're doing, uh, it's wrong. It's wrong and it's dangerous. Your friend, he, he can't be saved. Do you hear me, Garth? His case is hopeless. I don't believe that. Your father said he can be saved. Now, my father is a senile old man. Uh, Garth, you've seen that yourself. I diagnosed Devon. Believe me, he, he's past saving. Now, Devon is comfortable. He's in no pain, and he's going to stay that way until the end. Now, Garth, do you understand? Devon is going to die. There's nothing that we can do for him. Now, Garth, do you understand? Devon is going to die. There's nothing that we can do for him. Shut up, Chris. Jean, what are you doing? I'm going to tell Garth the truth. Garth, listen to me. 
Devon is going to be operated on by Dr. Trask. But he just said... Dr. Martin Trask. And contrary to what Chris says, his father is anything but senile. He's a brilliant man, but he's allowed himself to be bullied and demoralized by his son to the point where he's lost all confidence in himself. But he's getting that confidence back and he will try to save Devon. Martin Trask was chief of service in the medical biosphere. He gave up a very comfortable life to join the astromedics and he brought Chris along as his assistant. Now, when he turned his job over to Chris, he could have retired back to that comfortable life, but he chose to stay on. Garth, can you hear me? Yes. Gene is right. My father is the best that there is. Now, can we please do something about getting this module going? Astro? Get new coordinates. We've got to find those aliens. Captain, we may have lost the window for getting back to the Ark. By the time we reach the aliens... Yes, 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 I know that. But maybe we can get the aliens to come to us. Gently with them. They'll be bringing him in any time now. Still feeling guilty, huh? I don't want to talk about it. Why? Afraid I'll talk you out of your guilt feelings? Do you enjoy it that much? What's the difference how I feel? It's Devin that's important, not me. Oh, no, Garth. That's where you're wrong. Yeah, that's what Rachel said. She's right. Look, let me tell you something about guilt. It can eat you up alive. I know, I've seen the effects. Literally as bad in a psychodynamic sense as your friend's condition. I know you're thinking, why didn't it happen to me? Why, Devin? You keep on thinking like that, and it will happen to you. Look what you did on the bridge. That's what good your guilt did. Yeah, I guess I should feel guilty about that. Oh, no, you don't. You're not going to exchange one guilt for another. I don't allow my patients to do that. Patients? I keep forgetting you're a doctor, too. I'm a doctor, period. Find out what makes people behave the way they do and try to help them to understand themselves. That's what I'm doing for you, Garth. Trying to help you to see that what happened was a, a quirk, a chance thing, a stupid accident. Not your fault. Not Devin's fault, not anybody's fault. So go easy on yourself. I'll do my best, Doctor. They said I could wait in here. Yes, come in. Sit down. I'd like to thank you for everything you've done to help us. Strangely enough, I feel your being here has helped all of us. They're bringing him in. on the cochlear and vestibular divisions. Olfactory vagus and trigeminal nerves. Symptoms continuing. Rate of illness and in personnel increasing. Lethargy diminishing respiratory and pulsation rhythms. Commander, I'm not getting any data that relates to the specifics of your personnel symptoms. There's no prognosis because of the alien nature of your bodies. Dr. Trask, this is the captain. We have data to give the aliens. Yeah, all right, go ahead, Captain. I'm, I'm not having any success so far with my diagnosis. Nothing, nothing. I'm, I'm missing something. I know it. But what, 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 what? You have our data, Commander. Is it feasible? If your rate of drift remains constant, we will intercept at point seven seven five four nine two one one. 
Is there any way that you can get to us sooner? Our computers indicate negative. That's a high risk factor, Captain. Too high. Yes, yes, I know, but we have no choice. Commander Galaxy Ship CRG-211, we will maintain drift situation. Expect risk factor will favor Endeavor. Isolate and mark bipolar cells in the vestibular ganglion. Sector ready for SA input. you've come to take over now? Martin, I need your help. My help? I don't understand. The aliens, I cannot decode any of their information. Our computers only relate to comparable human factors. There just isn't any data available to give us a meaningful diagnosis. Okay, okay, I'm... I'm afraid that my enthusiasm got the better of me. Now, let me confess something too, son. So did mine. I understand what needs to be done here, but... And there was a time when I could have done it blindfolded, but right now... I could do with your eyesight and steady hand. Will you help, Martin? On condition that you take over here for me. All right. Good. I'll see what I can do about your aliens. I always was a fair diagnostician. The best. Martin, you are the best. Some of the information is isolated and marked as extensive cellular damage with plenty of uh, proximity cells that contain information that should reprogram without too much difficulty. Okay, I will follow your procedures. Now, you better update yourself on the aliens so you won't waste any time going over old territory. Playback will uh, give you a full summary. Maybe you can come up with something because nothing has activated me. Dr. Uh, Christopher Trask, the medical hero of galactic space. Save that young man. And you will certainly be a hero to them. All right, give me those readouts that you've isolated. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. I'll just uh, take over where Dr. Trask left off. I'm sure that his data is exact. Chris? We was back. Yes. Good luck. Venus sinuses check. Anterior inner cavernous sinus 700225. Something's wrong somewhere. According to these figures, they should be within sighting range by now. It wouldn't take much of a miscalculation to put us miles out of range. We can't depend upon our drift factor being constant. Even the slightest galactic disturbance within our general sphere could affect it. Mm. I am almost tempted to activate the reactors and chance hitting those coordinates. Sir? Well, I'm human, man. I don't like feeling helpless any more than you do. Captain, look. Do I understand you to say you have a three-chambered heart? Correct. So they tend to mix freshly oxygenated blood with unoxygenated. Unrecorded. Please repeat. No, Commander, it's all right. Can you give me specific details of certain brain functions? Some knowledge. Not anatomically trained. Well, I'm interested in the hypothalamus region, particularly pituitary, pineal body, and related structures. Can you get readouts for me? Information can be obtained. We'll transmit directly from computer for brain data. Good, but be careful not to over-inform. We must deal with it section by section. Our computers here are not able to handle full input from your giant complex. Understood. Stand by for response. Sphenoparietal sinuses, 9226549. 
Isolated and marked, ready for SA import. Internal carotid artery. Lateral hypophyseal vein. What is it? What is it? Humanoid in most respects, but with small differences. The key has to be in those differences. Parietal sinuses, 9226549. Isolated and marked, ready for SA import. Posterior intercavernous sinuses, 7009-68. What's the time factor now? Seven, eight minutes to rendezvous, sir. Hmm. And indeterminate time for computing docking procedure with an alien craft. What's the situation, read the arc? Not good, Captain. I know it's not good, man. Just give me the time allotment. I'll make my own judgments. Do you have that time allotment? Yes, sir. 94 minutes before the window closes, sir. 94 minutes. It means that if we don't depart for the arc, Within that time, we might just as well not bother. Astro, when you uh, have a minute to spare, would you please compute all data relating to the life expectancy of the ship and all its personnel? Oh, and don't forget to include our three passengers. This correction in the laminar quadrigemina. Not much room to play around in this area. Uh, this should take. Why is it taking so long? It's a delicate procedure, Rachel. I don't think they're going to be much longer. Please, why don't you sit down and rest? No, I'll be all right. Guard? You think he's going to live? I think there's every chance that he will. Of course, we won't know the extent of recovery of his damaged functions for a while. Damaged functions? Garth, I think you should be prepared for the possibility that Devon might not be the same again. He might be paralyzed, or his mind might be like that of a child's. I'm just saying that it might happen. But if Chris is successful in reprogramming all of the damaged areas, Devon will be completely normal. If Devon ends up that way, his mind gone. Be better if he didn't live. Gene, Garth, it's over. Chris? He's alive. All of his body functions read out normal at the moment, but we, we don't know yet if the reprogrammed cells will maintain constancy or there'll be variables. We'll know when he wakes up. Oh, Gene, uh, any word from Martin yet? No breakthroughs yet, but he thinks he's close to something. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. What about the bridge? I haven't heard anything from them yet. All right, let's take this out and bring this fresh. Commander, I'm trying to establish the exact nature of the virus and the areas affected. I cannot prescribe definite treatment until I'm sure. It could be dangerous to you. We are at point of no alternatives. If necessary, we are prepared to experiment on volunteers. Well, just give me a few more minutes, Commander. If I can't pinpoint it, we'll try blind treatments. I know he's a little feverish, but uh, he's looking good. Will he wake up soon? It could be any time now. And you uh, look like you could use a little rest yourself, Rachel. I have to be here. 
All right, I'll check in on him later. Dr. Trask, thank you. Well, don't thank me yet. He looks peaceful. He's gonna be just fine, Garth. I know he is. Maybe. You'll see. He'll be the same way he was, and we can go back to the Ark. Rachel, we may never get back to the Ark. We will, Garth. Any luck, Martin? Luck. If exactitude doesn't work, that's all we'll have left to count on. How's your patient? I mean, our patient, fine. He's holding his own. His temperature's a little high, but I'm sure it'll come down soon. Temperature? Yeah. What are you doing, man? Did you playing bag all the data? Oh, no, just the hypothalamus data. I kept thinking there was something missing. You may have hit it. Well, the temperature? Of course. Why didn't I see it? There aren't any neurons to dissipate excess heat. Wait, wait, wait a second. How, how, how's that possible? I don't know for sure, but I have an idea. When I said they had three chambered hearts, can you get me readouts on that original data they gave us, uh, especially in regard to their home planet? Uh -huh. No neurons from the hypothalamus because they don't need them. You know, you're right. There's a constant temperature on the planet, Billy. They don't even have a concept of heat and cold. The temperature's always the same. So they don't regulate their temperatures because they operate on the basis of behavioral temperature control. Instinctively, when they get hot, they move to a cooler area. When they get cold, they move to a warmer one. They behave very much as reptiles do. Reptiles, three-chambered hearts, you know what all fits? Look at the data on skin structure. It's reptilian. Oh, if it's a heat problem, then why haven't they instinctively cooled off? How? On Villium, they do it instinctively because the environment dictates their behavior patterns, but in their spacecraft, they've created an artificial environment, which is obviously deteriorated. Can you prescribe measures to be taken, Doctor? I think we've solved it, Commander. It's not a virus problem, as we thought. It's a temperature problem. Oh, yes, Devon, I'm here. Garth's here, too. Oh, Garth? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine, Devon. That's good. You know, I, I was afraid that, that I didn't get you out in time. You did, Devon, you did. Oh, good. Has the temperature in your spacecraft increased? Temperature is above normal points. Can you bring the temperature down? To what purpose? Well, it's too hot in there. That's why your people are suffering. You're looking a bit brighter, David. I'm still feeling a bit numb, but otherwise I'm all right. Well, the numbness will wear off soon. I just thought you'd like to know that Chris and Martin may have solved the alien's problem. That we can go back to the Ark? I don't know. The bridge is working on the problem, but I won't fool you. Our chances are very slim. It's a matter of minutes now, sir. I just don't see how we can replot. By the time we trace the Ark's position, it'll be much too late. Even if the doctors can deal with their problem without our having to dock? Yes, sir. So, the aliens live and we die. Yes, sir. Our life support systems can be maintained for 16 full days before we can expect systems failure. May we communicate with ship's doctors? Stand by, Commander. Yes, what is it? Alien Commander, sir. We wish to report treatment appears to have alleviated condition. Noticeable and rapid recovery rates in all but extreme cases. Believe diagnosis accurate prescribed treatment effective. Commander, can you maintain a constant temperature? All data indications are positive. We offer gratitude for efforts made on our behalf. You're entirely welcome, Commander. We've only performed our duty. Human beings from 
Earthship Ark appear to be admirable creatures. Thank you, sir. I will speak with your captain. Our understanding is that you will lose a window for return to mothership due to excessive time delay for completing coordinates. It's nothing for you to concern yourself over, Commander. Our duty was clear. Indications are you are still within window to rejoin your ship. It suggests immediate departure. Do you wish coordinates? Commander, can you give them to us? We have plotted your course since first contact. Coordinates can be transferred to your computer instantaneously. Commander, yes please, and as fast as you can. Stand by for coordinates transfer. Coming through now, Commander. We regret time does not allow for additional aid, recourse alteration for a ship arc. Suggest problem we dealt with priority status. Else Earth ship arc. Destruction inevitable. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Commander. We've been honored to help. We're ready, sir. Stand by for reactor start. They're leaving. Just don't exert yourself for a few days, Doc. Make sure you get some rest. Now, Doctor, you know as well as I do that there just isn't enough time. I'll make sure you do. I think you better keep your eye on both of them, Garth. I always do. <laughs> <laughs> don't be embarrassed, Garth. I have the feeling I'll be doing the same with these two. Emergency. Emergency. Biosphere M23. Well, that's us.